and here and just admire my heart from a distance. What's going on guys? My name is Millennial Rebel and there's a small possible chance that I might be back. We got a upgraded skin and maybe an upgraded computer too. <laughs> I actually just got this computer about a week ago and it's slightly better than my old one. And by slightly, I mean my old one doesn't hold a candle. It's like a wet match in a dark cave. So here's what I'm thinking. New computer, new skin, new mod pack. The mod pack's not that new, but I need to get out of I need to get out of this village. It's messing me up. <laughs> but this is actually Valhelsia 3. It's uh never played it before. I did a little small test world. I played for maybe an hour total. I got to start a little base and that was about it. But let's see here. We start off with a pickaxe and sticks and apples and why? I started off with this and the other one too. Why? I don't I don't feel like there's ever a need to increase my flatulence. So, it seems to me like this mod pack's kind of just a kitchen sink type mod pack that doesn't really have a lot of quests to deal with and stuff like that. It's just kind of a free range, do your own thing kind of thing. So that's kind of what we're going to do. We're going to do a free range, do your own thing kind of thing. First, uh, first things first though, I'm going to see if I can kill this squid. In my test world, the very first thing I did was kill a squid. Oh, he's so fast. He's so fast. Come here. Um, da -dum -dum -dum. We killed the squid. Killed the squid and got some ink sacks. Ink sacks. Ooh, tentacles. Fancy. And raw squid to eat. Now, I will say, just to make the videos a little easier and my life a little easier, I did add the FTB Ultimine to the pack. But my plan is to only use it for ore collection. That way I don't have to spend 20 minutes collecting a coal vein or something like that because it just adds to time that I don't really want to spend. So, we're going to start off doing the basic stuff like collecting wood. These maple logs are actually really pretty, so I want to collect some of them saplings. And we need to find some sheep. Um, Hopefully the video quality is a little better from this one than it was in using my old computer with my old videos. I think it'll be a little better, but we shall see. But anyways, like I said, I'm going to go through here and collect up some materials. Mainly wood. And I might go mining. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, obviously I have to go mining at some point. My goal for this first episode is to find diamonds. Obviously, I think that's everybody's first episode goal, but the last I did find, it was funny, I jumped off of a uh, ravine with my iron pickaxe. I'm like, Geronimo, and hope to find diamonds. And guess what? Right at the bottom where I jumped off was a vein of six. So that was pretty lucky. But anyways, like I said, I will be back in a little bit once I've got some resource collected because no one wants to just sit here and listen to me babble while I cut down trees. So... I will be back. So, honestly, it's only been a couple minutes of me just running around collecting trees. I burned up my axe, but I found these tall fowlberry bushes. And they don't give too much hunger or saturation, but they give foul taste for 15 seconds. I have no idea what that is. It doesn't seem to affect me, but I don't know. Maybe in like 20 minutes, I'll just keel over and die from eating poison berries. Who knows? But I just wanted to share that with you because I thought it was funny. I've never seen foul taste before. And these things are actually a really cool decoration block. One on that. I did collect up a bunch of those. I kind of have a plan for a base. I want to find a mountain. When I was in my uh, other world that I played for like an hour, I found this really cool biome. I can't remember the name of it. But it was like almost like extreme hills. But it had like cool colored water and these fancy little... Um, Just fancy little trees and stuff like that. And it was just really cool looking. And I would like to find that again. Because I thought it was awesome looking by. I'd make myself another axe here. And get back to chopping trees. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Sheep! I finally found some sheeps. Right as night was falling. 
I was blessed with Le Sheeps. So, now, we can make a bed if I make some more of these. And we'll get a bed going. That was super freaking lucky. Literally, right as night was falling, four little sheep popped up. Which is perfect, because you only need three wool to make a bed. And so, yeah. Alrighty, guys. So, I uh, traveled a little bit. Kind of set myself up in this little cave here for now. Just with some of these maple planks that I found and stuff like that. Because I did not want to get trapped out by mobs and I was running low on food. So I killed some pigs. I got the cooked pork chops cooking up here. Once those are cooked up, I'm probably going to go mining. I have way more wood than I need. But it's okay. Got them logs for days. But it allowed me to make this terribly, terribly ugly first little hidey hole. But... That's usually how my worlds start out. It's just a little hidey hole. A lot of times it's just a little 3x3 three three area under the ground. But I had, I did find a couple pieces of coal, so I made some torches, and I took the last piece of coal, took eight of my dark oak logs, and made some charcoal. So that's called a 200 IQ play right there. You only got a few coal, but you got a bunch of logs. You can couple that coal. <laughs> but alrighty, yeah, like I said, I think I'm going to go mining. And uh, I'll come back if we find anything interesting. Just got back from a mining trip. It was a very short mining trip. Where did... I know I collected more iron than that. Okay. Well, apparently I've only got 11 iron. But 11 iron is enough for an iron pickaxe. Which means I can collect more stuff. I burned through basically one stone pickaxe just to get down there. And then I burned through another stone pickaxe because I got coal for days. But the convenient thing is, if we go right over here, I went down this way. And actually, if I come down here a little bit, you can see on the map there, there's more caves there. And if you get down to right about here or so, where I turned. Yeah, right there. Look at that cave system. It's a pretty decent sized cave system, and there's a lot of ores down in there that I'm planning on mining. As soon as I get a bucket, because the whole thing, the whole bottom of the thing is filled with lava, so... We're going to get rid of that. But right now, I'm just going to let these ores smelt up and we'll get ourselves some better tools. You know what's weird? I have all this osmium. I didn't even know you could mine osmium and uranium with a stone pickaxe. I had no freaking clue that that was even a thing. And tin. I kind of thought that you could with tin because it's kind of a low-grade ore in the technical side of things. It's low-grade, just like a stone or an iron pickaxe so just a little note to self <laughs> don't set your recording hotkeys to just normal keys on your keyboard because when you go to search for things like an iron pickaxe or tin pickaxe or something like that when you type in iron or you type in pick and your pause button is set to p it's going to pause your recording and then you're not going to remember to unpause your recording <laughs> and then you're just going to stop it and lose what you recorded. But anyways, what I was saying was that the tin pickaxe is basically the exact same thing as the iron pickaxe. So they're both level two. So that's why you can mine them with a stone pickaxe. So if we look at osmium, you can make an osmium pickaxe. It says harvest level one. Oh, interesting. I don't know why. For some reason, I always thought the osmium was a higher tier ore that you needed iron to mine. Apparently, you do not. So I'm going to let this stuff smelt up. I'm going to go do a little more mining. And we're going to see if we can't get some machines and some generators and stuff going. Just basic stuff to set up to try and get that that stupid tool that I was just trying to talk about. The freaking, what is it called? The Atomic Disassembler. Thank you very much. But already, yeah, I will be back in a little bit. So I'm just down here in this cave, minding my own business. Turning all the lava into obsidian. And what did I find? Diamonds. The whole goal of the episode met. Episode over. Just kidding. I'd like to actually try and get that atomic disassembler before we end the episode. Ooh, diamonds and gold. Ain't that just fancy? We've got four diamonds. One more little diamond. Maybe maybe we can find another bigger vein, but four is good. Four is good to start. Can't complain there. We will take the four diamonds. So, once again, just down here in this same cave system, just a little branch off of it. Out here minding my own business. And I come across this little guy. So I checked his trades and trapped him in a hole because I had to show you guys this. Look at this. 32 cobblestone for an emerald. 
Too bad it's not later in the game, because we could take ridiculous advantage of that. But, the true OP thing is, while I'm mining, iron ore, and he'll trade one iron ore for two regular iron? Yes, please, I will take it. And then he also trades two gold for three gold? Yep, that's much faster than mining, or than smelting it myself, and since we don't have any ore duplication or nothing going on right now, yeah, I'll take it. Um, I don't know if these guys reset their trades or not. I, it looks like he uh, he's done trading me iron, but maybe they reset, maybe they don't. I'd like to capture him if I could somehow, because I feel like if I go... I don't know if these are hostile or passive. If they're passive and he's stuck in a hole, then he's stuck there. I'm assuming they're passive, because you can trade with them and they don't attack you. We shall see. If I go 128 blocks away and he despawns, then we'll know he's a hostile mob. But, so far, let's see here. I did trade with him initially when I first found him. The 20 vial iron ore that I had already found. And he gave me 50, and I just traded that other 5 for 10 more. So now I got 60 iron after only finding 30 because of that convenient little guy. And I did trade some cobblestone for emeralds, just in case we need them for something. Emeralds are not exactly easy to come by. I also found this stuff. And if you guys aren't forbid familiar with Forbidden and Arcanus, Forbidden and Arcanus, <laughs> I've never actually really gotten too much into it, but I have messed around with these guys here, these ex-petrified orbs. Now we just got to find... I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it blows up when you mine it. <laughs> and it gives you this little tablet-looking thing. And if you surround the tablet with those ex-petrified orbs, you can make indestructible tools, which is pretty epic. But... Do not try to make them indestructible after you've enchanted them, I think it is. Because I made that mistake once. I had the super expensive... I was playing uh, ATM 6, actually, and I had the uh, Aldamadium Sword. And I went to make it indestructible. And I couldn't because there's already enchantments on it. Or vice versa, I don't remember. But I'll figure it out and mess up. Ooh, I accidentally made a little heart right there. Fancy. Ah, Skelly. Right here, and just admire my heart from a distance. <laughs> no! I did make an iron sword, by the way. Just for situations like this. <laughs> but I found these strawberries, too. They uh, they don't do much, but when you find a group of them, there's usually a lot of them. So. Yeah. I think I'm going to go back up to the surface, start smelting some of these ores. Um, actually, maybe I'll do a little bit more mining and search for some more diamonds, because like I said, I think I believe five is what we need. And the more that I can find, the better. I was hoping that a little goblin trader would play, trade for some diamonds, but he wants, he's wants he got emeralds instead. He's almost as bad as a villager, but not as ugly. His nose is as big, but he's not as ugly. <laughs> oh, alrighty, guys. So, I did a little bit of mining. <laughs> I spent probably about an hour or so mining, and I moved our little base over to this little, what they call a rainforest biome. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stay here very long, because... I noticed that, I don't see any right now, but there's a thing called a folia. And it's like a giant Venus flytrap kind of type of thingy. And they just randomly spawn in here, and then they just sit there for hours and hours and hours until you either kill them. They're really hard to kill, too. It's kind of ridiculous. If you get too close, they bite you. And even with full iron armor, they do like two and a half hearts of damage. But anyways, we did, like I said, I did some mining. Got all these resources, blah, blah, blah. And I got a little farm over here set up. Got some food going. This is actually an amazing food, and it's super easy to make. It's cooked carrots and then this stuff here with, well, it takes one cooked and two uncooked of those. It's aubergine, and then one cooked carrot, and you get this awesome food. That's five and, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them. So, I think we got enough stuff to get into mechanism right now. This is going to be for the pitiful generator and this is all the stuff that we need to make the metallurgic infuser now we are going to go ahead and make one metallurgic infuser and we're going to go ahead and make one pitiful generator and i might set these up outside for now just because i don't have a whole lot of space this is pretty much probably just going to be a temporary setup just to get into mechanism but i'm going to go ahead and grab some logs here do we use logs i don't think we can use coal in that I think it's called a pinnacle generator for a reason. No, oh, I guess we can use coal in that. Cool. So that's going to power this up. It is going to be slow to start with, but 
that's not a big deal. We need some iron. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 iron and 32 coal, I believe it is. If we go ahead and put the 32 coal in and the 16 iron, that is going to produce our enriched iron, which you got to take the enriched iron dust and put it back in here. So that's why I did 32 and 16 because it's 2 to 1 basically to actually get up to the steel. So hopefully this can keep up with what we need going on. We need the steel because in order to make the enrichment chamber, to start with the ore doubling, here's the enrichment chamber. You need a steel casing, which is four steel. Glass, easy to come by. Osmium, easy to come by. But the steel is kind of a pain in the butt. Now if I were to set this up right, I would have two metallurgy confusers. One for the iron, one being fat iron, and one taken in the enriched iron from that one. But I don't feel like doing that right now. We don't have the power resources right now to run two at a time. So we'll just have to... Hang around and wait till that's done. I might collect up my crops and then when I come back, we will go ahead and get that enrichment chamber set up. And I also have this bio generator because with the metal engine computer, we can make this. And we also need to make the crusher. Yeah. And then that bio generator actually generates a decent amount. I don't know if it says anywhere, but it, it generates a decent amount for just throwing organic matter into the crusher and oh this finally grew cool <laughs> but yeah you throw organic matter in the crusher it makes the biofuel it can be seeds or leaves or whatever you want it to be and then the biofuel that generates a lot more eventually i'd like to probably get up and get where is it at this uh, it uses these fiery glass crystals and if you hit usage on them you can go to here the furnace mycelial generator I'd like to get that eventually because one of these produces 192,000 power. And if you take nine and put it into a block, you actually get one extra. But ADFE protects pretty good. I know it used to be those, those generators used to, when they were, I think it was 1.14 I was playing in or 1.13. It was a mod pack. But you could, the more, the longer it burns, the more it produces per tick. So like... You could set up a charcoal farm with your trees and then a tree farm and make charcoal and throw them in there and you could have a bunch of them running and you'd have like 5,000 RF per tick real fast. But anyways, guys, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get this steel produced up, get everything around to make the enrichment chamber, and then when I come back, we'll set up the ore doubling. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, guys. So I think I finally got everything ready to go here. This here is for the crusher. Two buckets of lava, steel casing, two of these. I did go ahead, once the steel was all done, I used my metallurgy infuser to make these base control circuits and these infused alloys. The infused alloy is just one redstone, one iron, and then the base control circuits is two redstone and one osmium in this guy right here. So what we're going to do first, I do have the rest of the stuff here to make the... Oh, wait, hold on. I need one of these guys. So this, all, all this right here is to make the biogenerator, but in order to make the biogenerator, you actually need to make biofuel first. So we're going to go ahead and make the crusher. And of course it didn't take what I wanted it to, but it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and make the enrichment chamber. And then we're going to go ahead and come out here and set this crusher up right next to this pitiful fuel generator here so that it starts getting power. And this kelp produces two. Um, there's a lot of other better stuff that you can do. Like carrots, I think, produce five. But just get this thing jump started. We're going to go ahead and just throw the kelp in here. It's going to be a little slow at first. But ain't really a whole lot we can do other than just wait. Because the speed upgrades, we might be able to make a few speed upgrades. But if you don't make the power upgrades, it's going to use too much power. It's, it's all going to be slowed down by this till we get this bio generator up and ready to go but yeah each one of those produces it so we got the biofuel now we can go ahead and make this bio generator after I grab the redstone that i accidentally used for something so bio generator right there so we're going to click that and then we're going to go ahead and make some logistical transporter pipes and i need steel which i still have some leftover steel i'm going to go ahead and make 16 it was steel and a base control circuit. So, steel, base control circuit, logistical transporters, 
And how do we make this thing? Do we have the stuff? Energy tablet, lapis, and infused alloy. I do still have some infused alloy, which I'm going to need some gold for the energy tablet as well. A piece of lapis. Uh, I got a stick. What about this energy tablet? Oh, I need more redstone. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. This configurator is definitely a necess necessary tool. There's the energy tablet, and we need a stick. Really? I'm out of sticks. There's my sticks. And there's our configurator, so that'll be super helpful for the configuratoring the pipes. <laughs> now I'm going to set this here, I guess. And we'll probably go ahead and make a chest, a buffer chest for the biofuel, because that crusher is going to produce way more biofuel than we actually can use. Didn't I make... Oh, well, maybe I used them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we'll go ahead and take that. And make some chests. Ooh, maple chests. Pretty fancy. <laughs> so, I'm actually going to move this one more over from where we started. Put that guy there. Buffer chest. Not right there. Stupid grass. Buffer chest here. And we'll do a logistical transporter. Logistical transporter. Configurator it. Pull. And set the side config. Left is going to be output. That'll put all the biofuel into this chest. And then we're going to go ahead and configure this guy right here to pull. And we should be able to configure. Oh, wait a minute. I may have to turn this. It only, it only accepts items from the front, I think it is. Or the back, whichever one it is. Got here, friend. Yeah, so it's got to go like that, and then we'll have to get this block out of here because this is the power outlet. Bioethanol. I don't remember it saying that. But, whoops. Dang. 280 FE per tick. Yeah, I think that can handle some machines. So, once we get that going, um, I do want to see about going to collect a bunch more kelp. Ah, there's them full ice that I was talking about. It's a giant foliage but if you come over here and they, they come out you go to punch them they disappear and you back up a little bit you gotta be quick otherwise they're gonna bite your face come back here come out yeah ouch i mean they are a two-shot kill so they're not terrible to kill but it isn't i don't like it is the magnum torch in here and i wonder if a magnum torch would if i know how to spell I don't see a magnum torch, but so that's a useless thing. But oh, and by the way, about that little goblin trader guy, I came back home after mining, and then I went to go to empty my inventory, and I went to go do a little more mining, and I checked on him, and he was gone. So I think I'm gonna have to carry around a name tag with me the whole rest of the time I play this, just in case we find another guy and we can trap him in a hole like that and then name tag him. But this is running pretty quick, I guess. Um, I may want to try and make some power cables and possibly a battery. Just, I'm not sure. This is a full buffer. It's got almost basically 64,000 in it. It's got, it's good on biofuel. It, it has a big buffer for the biofuel. I think it's like 20,000 biofuel it'll hold. So we've still got, we've gone through half of that and we filled this buffer and this is half full. So it's not too bad. Yeah, I don't know exactly how many millibuckets or whatever you want to call it this uses per tick, but if it's not using any power, which eventually, if I make those power cables, I can route some up around here. But like I said, this is all a temporary setup just to kind of get into mechanism. Um, yeah. So I think my next step here is to go ahead and try and make some more of the basic control circuits because we are going to need those to get up higher tiered to get this bad mamma jamma right here the atomic disassembler which all this stuff super easy like gold and redstone no big deal it's this that's the problem because you got to have the reinforced alloy which is four refined obsidian which is insane if, oh i guess you can use enriched obsidian in there Oh, yeah, you got to have the refined obsidian dust anyways, which is the refined obsidian ingot, 
which is what the heck? How do we get the refined obsidian dust? Let's see here, crusher. No, oh, right there. Duh. I, I clicked on all three, but that one. Yeah, it's the powdered obsidian, which you just put obsidian in a crusher, and then it's a diamond. So, I guess we're gonna need more diamonds than we thought. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and go back and do some mining, or do some more mining. I really gotta find more diamonds. I've only found those four. I did all that other mining, got all these resources, and I only found four. And I've almost killed this diamond pickaxe collection resources, and I've still only found four diamonds. So yeah, I'm going to go do some more mining, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, guys, I think we did it. I finally got everything for the atomic disassembler. But before I go ahead and make that, I've got this all set up. This is for an energized smelter. So we're going to go ahead and craft that little guy up real quick. I do have everything set up outside to do my ore doubling. Simple, basic, early game ore doubling. So we'll go ahead and go put that guy out here. I have this, which is my biogenerator. I did go ahead and make a basic energy cube, just so we have a little bit of a power buffer for the ore generation. This is my enrichment chamber. I did make the osmium compressor because I had to to get this little guy right here. This thing is just the refined obsidian dust with an osmium ingot, and you get the refined obsidian ingot. So I have this all set up. This is a chest filled with all the ores. It feeds into here. I already have the iron feeding in. It's making the iron dust, but it actually currently ran out of power. Why did you run out of power? Hold up, hold up, hold up. There's no reason. I know why you ran out of power. Because I didn't set this part up. So I gotta go ahead and look at this thing and side eject. Uh, I should input from the right and put from all the other sides. There we go. Now this is getting powered again. So this is building up a buffer. This biogenerator is producing 280 RF per tick or FE per tick, whatever you want to call it. But this guy is building up a buffer. It's not quite half full. It's actually only about a quarter full. It holds 1.6 million. But this is running, making the iron dust, which is doubling it into iron dust. And then it'll pull out of the back here. And once we put this energized smelter in, that'll get power. Do the side config here. We need input on the right and output to the back so that should start pulling in the iron dust and then once it smelts it, it should put it in this chest so there's basic ore doubling and we're about to get our atomic disassembler i'm gonna let that run for a minute we'll go make the atomic disassembler that shouldn't be too hard click on that click on that and boom atomic disassembler so this thing is epic once we fill it with power, it holds a lot more than I thought it would. That's going to take almost all my power if I fill that. Uh, I don't know if I want to fill that right now. I think I'll keep it where it is. You can change the modes by holding shift and scroll wheel. Extended vein mine. You can do veins, fast, which fast mine with this thing, insta break. <laughs> it's one of the best tools you can get. And we got it first episode. I'm going to say that's pro skills. But anyways... That's about all the time we have for this video. Like I said, I did exactly what I wanted to do. I got that atomic disassembler. This stuff's all going to get moved. I, I don't think I'm going to stay here. I don't know. If you, you guys want to let me know what you think about this biome. I thought it was cool. It's not as cool as the other one that I was looking for. So maybe off camera I'll do a little more searching and see if we can find that other biome. But if you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. I'll let you. And goodbye.